All right, so this is a tomato review for the San Marzano Gignati. Or I'm not exactly sure that the correct pronunciation of the latter part of that name, but the correct spelling and name will be in the title and description. So let's take a closer look at the tomato, the inside. Hopefully that it's coming out nice and clear. It's generally a sausage type tomato or a paste tomato. It's not really a plum tomato. Uh, here's a good example of the general size that they get, though mine didn't get too big this year because the plant got sick early. But this is about what you should be expecting to see, something like that, or larger sizes, more like this pendant type shape. Okay, so that's generally what you should see. Now, the Jersey, the other tomatoes that are similar to this is like Jersey Devil tomato, the, um, the uh, speckled Roman tomato, like here's a speckled Roman. A uh, speckled Roman's a little bit different, obviously, but um, it, it, it's got that pendant tomato shape and everything like that. So, uh, as far as the this tomato being a good selection for growing larger crops with it and everything. I've never really had a lot of success with this tomato. It was always something that seemed to have gotten in the way of it doing really any good. In fact, this is one of the first years I, I'm doing better than other years. And and as you can see, I probably got about a dozen tomatoes here and I got a few more in the plant. The plant's pretty much dead. Now, yes, I could be a seasonal thing because of the weather we had this year was really bad. But it's always something with this tomato. It's very sensitive to the environment, and you're, you're really going to have a hard time growing it. So it's going to take some effort in doing. In my opinion, if you grow it in a stable uh, environment that's that's uh, like a polytunnel or a greenhouse of some kind, you'll probably have more success providing you have that greenhouse well ventilated. You'll probably have more success than, than I'm having out here it's a drought and heat wave one day and next day you know you're getting five ten inches of rain uh it just doesn't want to tolerate that in any way with that said let's cut a slice out of this give it a go i'm gonna cut another one open now it has a nice flavor that would go good for making sauces that's the first thing that came to my mind it's really kind of more on the tangy side than it is on the sweet side but it just has a nice flavor that'll work well with sauce. So let's do a bricks test on it. Very juicy tomato, as you can see, I barely squeeze that thing. It's about a four and a half on the bricks. So it's not really incredibly high in, in sweetness, but we'll, here, we'll test. That one was really juicy, it might be. I mean, this one's a little less juicy, so maybe there's more sugar in it. Now, nah, same thing. About four, you know, four and a half, close to five on the bricks. And uh, so it's not real high in, in sweetness, but it does have a pretty good flavor, I will say that. I like the, the tomato taste part of it, and I like the tangy part that goes with it. But without that sweetness to offset the tangy, it kind of makes it a little bit not as desirable as other tomatoes, so to speak. Let me take one more bite, and we'll end this review. I like the tomato a lot. It, it, the inside of these tomatoes are very soft. They have a nice um, tomato flavor. That's really the only way I, I could put it. It'd probably go good in soups, ketchup with You can make your own ketchups with it. You'd probably make your own um, tomato sauce with it. That, that's the kind of a thing it would go good. In. As far as like a slice of tomato to just eat in salads, yeah, I guess you could, you know. Here's what, here's what the big one looked like on the inside. And take a slice out of that but again it's not a very big producer it's a nice tomato yeah I like it it's tangy but not overly tangy so it's very mild in, in that kind of sense the sweet and tangy part as far as sweetness goes I'm gonna say 20% in the sweetness really low tangy part I'm gonna say probably I'll say like 30, 32 on a tangy. So it's much higher than the sweetness, obviously. Sweetness is not really there, but it's, it's there a little bit, just not very much. 
And the tomato flavor is really pronounced in it, so it's got a good pronunciation on that. Other than that, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, if you see them for sale, give them a go. I don't know if I'm going to offer seeds for this on my website this year. I need to grow this for a couple of years until I can get a good seed supply, and then I'll offer it. I might offer a exclusive offer, maybe five. You know, I'll sell, I'll sell five orders of it, and that's it. Uh, but I'm not looking to, you know, I don't really have enough tomatoes for me to really uh, waste the time building a web page for it. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, if I can get more uh, seeds next year, we'll put it on the website and we'll make those seeds available. All right, so that's it. That's your tomato review for the San Marzano Gigante. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.